Well, look at look at the engine. You'll see what's wrong. Oh shit! Yeah, it's missing a lot of yeah. So the whole top end got built incorrectly, and then he wanted me to pay for a new head, and I was like, that's not happening. And like, how all, much is a new head? Uh, it varies, but depending on the condition, I have to have one machine. And either way, it's not my responsibility to pay for because I didn't mess it up. But yeah, it's been a nightmare so far. My grandpa is so funny. He's been like, he's been around since I got this car originally, and he's always been like asking what's going on with this. Okay, we'll address that in a minute. But he's, it's really cool to have like your fan members who support what you do. I'm always like asking about it. I want to know what's going on. So when he saw this, he was a. Uh, wasn't too happy about it, but we'll talk about that just briefly. Um, I can't get into every detail, but for the for a, a long story short, I stopped by and I saw him on Friday. I texted him, I think Tuesday of last week, and I said, "Hey, man, we are gonna fix this. Either I get my money back, or we're going to court. I have all the evidence in the world. It's much faster if you get my money back and cheaper for you. Um, or we can go to court. I can sue you for this list of things, including the top end of the car, the motor, the engine damage, the bodywork on the car, a lot of other things." But Went and saw him Friday, because he didn't text me back. Kind of rude, but whatever. Didn't text me back, went and saw him Friday, and he still thinks it's my fault. He wants me to pay for a new head, and he wants, to, like, listen, first of all, I'm not paying for a new head, because I didn't mess it up. The timing was wrong, the sensor on the rear cam was missing, and they machined it wrong. Not my fault, I'm not paying for that, but he thinks I need to pay. I'm not paying for that. And second, I no longer have any faith in this place to work on my car anymore. Like, my car's damaged, stuff is rusted, it's outside for three weeks in the rain, this sat open for I don't even know how long, and you did it wrong the first time. Now, not to mention the top end was wrong, I don't know how far down this is wrong, because the top end could totally messed up. I don't trust that. I don't even know if I trust putting another head on this engine, because I might put it on, and then there's problems deep down, and you know, it's just, it's just a nightmare. So, basically what I told him, I was like, listen, if we, I can't get my money back, we're, we're going to court. And he's like, all right, so that is the, the next move. I'm like, I'm still not saying anybody's names. I don't be super slander. Um, if you know, you know, but I won't say a name. I won't say a shop name or his name and that kind of stuff. It is, I'll keep it mostly off camera for the most part. Um, but you guys details, of course. Uh, so that's the next step. So I'm currently in the process of getting all of my videos, pictures, text, documents in order. Uh, copy for myself, copy for the court and for the judge. And we're going to go from there. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I guarantee that I'm going to win. I have everything. I have everything. Like, literally everything. And he tried to say that I should have just brought him the car from the beginning. But either way, one, I have in writing, he said that even though we touched the car, it's good to go. He's going to handle it, no problem, no matter my pocket. So that's covered. But two, whether I brought the car the day of or when I brought it now, either way, the top end was completely machined wrong. The valve ship before came off a running car. I had video proof of all that stuff. Um, and afterwards, now the valves are leaking, the timing was off, I'm missing a sensor, which he didn't even know was missing. I said there was a sensor on the back can that was missing altogether. I have video proof, when we opened the valve cover, we saw it wasn't there. He's like, there's no sensor there. I'm like, there was a sensor there, supposed to be there. I provided a new one with the timing chain kit and the old was also in the box and they just didn't put it on. So there's multiple things, so we'll see how it goes. Um, as for the car, I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, I don't want to clean anything. I don't want to try and fix anything. I'm not going to address any of the messes right now, even though this car is a giant mess. I'm going to leave it just as is. We're going to do a little insult today because I really want to put my pedals in and my shift knob. Um, but that's interior stuff. It doesn't really matter to the outside of the car. But yeah, it's just, it's just a giant headache for no reason. Like, mistakes happen. I get that. But he's still, like, in such denial that it's my fault. And he's trying to tell me that the after that head came off Greg's car and went to some machine shop that I'm, I don't know about, was machined in pro like pro improper and then went to him and then the whole problem was, like there's no there's no machine shop it came off Greg's car sat in Greg's garage came to my garage and came to you there's never been another machine shop you are the machine shop so he's trying to sell all this stuff and he 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 just he wants a way out he just wants a way out of this he doesn't want any responsibility he wants a way out so either way hopefully it doesn't take too long to get this done but that's the update for you guys I can't get into every little detail because again it's legal stuff but we are we're going to court so. I have all the evidence on my side. I don't even know what he has or what he's going to try and say. Um, but it just sucks. It really sucks. I've known this guy for a long time. And I, I, I still said nothing bad about this person. I've known this guy for such a long time. And he was always cool. I've never had any problems up until this point. So, I don't know. It, 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 it just really sucks. And 
my car is destroyed. I have family. I didn't make a vlog yesterday. I had my cousins come in last night, more coming tomorrow morning. I have a bunch of family here who wanted to see the car. I want to take them for rides. We want to do all those Christmas posters. And there's just so much stuff I wanted to do with my car. And I, I just can't. So it really, it really sucks. I've lost a lot of time. I, I leave in five months. You know what I mean? So I mean, I've lost so much time and stuff that I, I can't really get back. I mean, there's no going back. And once I move away, I'm gone for three to four years. So I mean, there's stuff that I've lost out on that I just can't go back. So I don't know. There's just a lot. It, it just really sucks. Really, really sucks. But either way, keeping our hopes or spirits high. Spirits high. I'm still having a good time. Smile on my face. This will get fixed eventually and she run again. Some people say it's smarter just to part the car out, take the parts I want over to Germany, build a new Mark III. Yes, it technically is smarter, but this, this is Miley. You know what I'm saying? This, this is my little girl. This is my girl right here. This is Miley. She's not going nowhere. This car will run again. Whether I need to pull this whole engine out, put a new VR6 in, a 3.2, maybe a 3.6, I don't know. But Miley's not going anywhere. She will, she will rise again. Miley will rise again. Make, make Miley great again. That's going to be the new shirt. Make Miley great again. So, we'll see. Anyway, we're going to have a fun little install today. Throw my shift nut in because I want to see it for a long time. Throw the pedals in real quick. And then we'll just, that's an easy day. You know, I am still very, very tempted though to push my car out of the garage, put the wheel of the promoter back on, and get a cool Christmas picture, like buy a Christmas tree and put it on the roof because even though all this sucks and it's really screwed me in a big in a big way, I still want some sort of really dope Christmas picture. And even if it's just my driveway, I still want to have one. This is my last Christmas here. I want something cool. So I think I might go get a Christmas tree, throw it on top of the car, and it's had a cool driveway picture. Won't be the rolling shot that I want, but you know, it's better than nothing. So as much as I do love this shift knob, and I really do love it, I got this shift knob from the junk car. This is actually a old school Rocco performance weighted shift knob. Super awesome, and I love it, but I'm so excited about this one. This is like my old school, the VR6, the two piece, uh, the metal one actually, the metal bottom. Some came plastic, some came metal. This is actually the metal one. Had it polished, looks gorgeous, matches my pedals. Got the cool piece of Danny fix on top. So this is leather wrapped, and then got the Vercaro um, top piece to match my seat, which is gonna be so, so sick. So if you weren't around back when I first installed these pedals, Mark III pedals can kind of be a bit of a pain to install because as far as I know, I'm pretty sure all of them require you to drill through the pedal and use a nut and bolt system like this to go through the pedal and your new pedal and then screw down tight together. I don't, I'm sure there's some like some more like cheapy ones that kind of clamp around the backside, but all the ones like the ABT, the Sparco, anything like that, I'm pretty sure all those from Mark III require you to drill holes through your pedal and then screw them on, which can be a little bit annoying, kind of hard to do because it's, like, it's very tight down there. And if you drum wrong, your pedal's crooked, it's kind of a nightmare. But once they're on, they look sick. I just wanted, I haven't messed with this car. Like I said, this car's been gone for, actually this week is a month that it was, it was gone. Um, but it's gone for three weeks. I haven't touched this car in three weeks. It just sat outside, which really irritates me. But now she's back, so we'll do some little stuff. Like I said, I'm not cleaning the car. I'm not doing anything. I'm not fixing anything. Because if a lawyer wants to come and see the car, like all that kind of stuff, Evidence. It is what it is. It's staying just as it is, but little stuff inside, I can mess with, not a big deal. So, get these installed and just have a chill day. Give you a little before look. You can see the holes in the clutch pedal. I only had to drill one in the brake, and then there's three in the gas pedal way back there. Bit of a mess down here. The power for my compressor is just kind of hanging down there. But this is nothing from him. That's all stuff from me. So, don't worry about that. But my airline's kind of hanging down. This is all this stuff I never put back together because the car wasn't running. Um, but yeah, this is crappy down there. So, there's some nice pedals in there. Make it look. A little better, at least a little bit shinier. Ah, I knew her so saying. That thing sounds so good, man. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, whatever. I see some fresh tires. I see some fresh meat. No more, no more radials, drag slips on the ground. I have real tires now. Yeah, I see the real tires now. I'm gonna get pulled over. Pedals are all in, miss them greatly. Up next will be this shift knob. I would have kept that one because it's weighted and it's super, what are they, what, two and a half pounds, three pounds? Yeah, about two and a half, three. It's really, really nice. But like I said, the um, the threads for the 2.0 shift knob are thinner, so this one won't even go over that at all, so I can't use it at all. So we're going to this one, which is still sick though. Like, I like this a lot. Because I don't think hardly anyone has a polished bottom half of this, the golf ball shift knob. And it's pretty sick. So if you're wondering how to make these shift boots fit right to your shift knob, so not like flopping around, what you want to do is roll your shift boot inside out, take this one from the top down, push it through, pinch it off where you want it to, take a zip tie and just wrap it around. And once it's tight, you just unfold it and that's how it stays there. Because I didn't know that for the longest time until Greg told me, I was like, oh, that's really easy and really smart. So we'll put this in like this. I want it towards the bottom of here. And then we will zip tie it on. Nice and tight. We'll cut that in just a second. But then you'll all you just pull through. Bam. 
Super easy, it's not gonna go anywhere, and it looks good. I wanted to wait to put my top sticker on because once it's on, you kinda gotta peel it back off if you want this top cap off. And I didn't wanna put it on too soon and then have this thread on and it'd be crooked because that would've drove me insane. So this will go on here, it should thread on. Snug. And then we'll go ahead and put our top piece on. I'm always scared when I strip Allen keys. <laughs> Especially the small ones because they're always just so delicate. Looks great. Alright, let's put this on. Is there just peel and stick? Make sure we're nice and straight. Oh god. Don't mess up. The pressure. No, 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 no. Try again, try again, try again. <laughs> Got lucky. A little bit more that would be center. Oh yeah. This is a good shift knob. Oh, I love that. That looks sick. That's it. Oh yeah. It's just a good shift knob. I love the leather, the polish, and the leather matches like everything else in here. And the caro to match the seats. Yeah, I'm down. A few people said I should have this match the pedals, which would have been cool to have Sparkle and Sparkle, but I think our car was a little bit cooler. And no one's really doing our car wash if not because this is sick. I think at this point, the only thing I want left for the interior is a new steering wheel. I love this one, but the brown just doesn't match. If it was a darker wood, I said it before, a darker wood would look better, like a cherry would look nice, but I do want a black leather steering wheel with polished arms. Kind of hard to find though. A lot of the black ones you find are black leather with black in the center, but I kind of have it polished either way. Um, but I want to find something cool. Black leather, polished arms. I would like a four spoke. It's really hard to find four spokes. <laughs> four spokes that I like. Some are like I are cool, but they're all padded. I don't know. The Nardi Gear threes are dope, and the Gear fours are dope. But those are usually all leather. I don't know. I have, I have a few I have liked so far, but that'd be the last thing to do. And this is black and black and polished. So the last thing to do would be just get this changed out, and we're good to go. And then you know maybe drive the car. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Cause right now this looks dope, and all this is cool, but I can't I can't go anywhere yet. Put some more of the interior bed together. Shift knobs in, looking great. Pedals are in. I put the, I think it was the kick, the knee dash kick thing. I don't know what it's called, but that's back in. The steering wheel covers back on. Overall, looking a lot better. The car can't go anywhere, but at least the inside's looking semi decent. It's getting there. It's getting there. So I do want to find a new steering wheel. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. I really like the shift knob a lot. I love the leather and polish. It just matches everything so well. Pretty much done for the day. Gonna push the car back in the garage. It's actually getting quite cold. Like yesterday was like in the 40s yeah, and raining, <laughs> and today it's it's quite chilly for Florida right now. Um, I'm gonna push the car inside, go hang out inside for a little while. I actually have two packages I need to open up, and then we'll call it a day. Simple, chill, not much to do. My trunk is a disaster. I have my engines in here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm really excited for the day to drive this car. Yeah. Stop pushing this thing around. That'd be nice. Be really nice. When it makes its own noise and moves its own weight. You know it did run before on like <laughs> two and a half cylinders. It did. Okay, we're gonna wrap up today's video with a little unboxing. I've taken the liberty and I've already opened it a little bit because I feel like unboxing stuff on camera is like always just like so awkward and hard to do. But this is what I go. So the first one is bam, I got this from Euro District. They ran a sale on these shirts, and I had to snag one because Oh yeah, look at that. Euro District got a Mark III. It's super hard to find stuff with a Mark III. This is kind of weird. Look at my hand. Anyways, it's super hard to find stuff with a Mark III. I just had to snag this. And it has all these things on the back. So that's super, super awesome. Anytime you see a Mark III or something, you gotta snag it. So I got that shirt. And then they put a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I got a bunch of koozies from Euro Trash Apparel Company. Bam, all these ones, front and back. Those are cool. I got some stickers I saw as well. Bam, stickers. And we got... A bunch of keychains, which are from ECS2, I'm gonna say, yeah. So ECS2 and keychains, I got three of those. I have some stickers, and I have koozies, and not to mention my super, super sick shirt. And I believe this Euro District is also a poster, like the ones, like these ones. Let's something like this. I think there's one um, like this. I'm pretty sure this Mark III is also one of those posters. So if you have this car on a poster like that, I want it. If you have an extra one, let me know, because I really want to get one, because I have the Mark II, the Mark I, I have a lot up here so far, but I really want to get all of them eventually. The next thing we have is this box here. This is from Brian. Super cool guy. He sent me this. So I have this piece here. I'll put that in just a minute. And I also have this piece down here. So I had mentioned in my video talking about taking my car to Germany that I didn't really want to drill holes in the front bumper to put the plate on. So what this does this is actually a bracket. I can drill this underneath the front bumper like this and bend this bracket up 
And then this is what you use. This is a license plate holder. So this will screw in like this and hold it there on the bumper. So that'll fold under. That way there'll be two holes in the bumper, but on the bottom side, it's like, it's like this. So it'll be down here. Nothing in the front, which is really nice. And then I can just go ahead and clip my uh, plate into this. Very easy to go. I, I just don't want to drill holes in the bumper. I know over there all the cars already have them. But my bumper is very clean in the front, has no holes, so it's really nice. So I want to get away without doing that. So this one on the bottom, this one on the front, and we'll be able to get away with no holes on our nice bumper. If my car even runs and makes it to journey by then, which would be really, uh, this is such a nightmare. Such a nightmare. But it's been a fun, chill day. I'm going to end this video kind of soon. I'm not sure how long it was. Decent long, I would say. I got a family here. We're playing some games. Um, I don't know if I'll film tomorrow or not. I'm going to try to, but I have more filming coming in tomorrow. So it's just Christmas time is very, very busy and we have literally a loaded house this year. So I don't want to be off filming and not spending time with my family because like, this is my last Christmas together with everybody. So we'll see how that goes. Um, again, I can't, I do want to make a full video about the car situation, like a full, full depth video, but not just yet. I don't want to keep, I don't want to put too much. I don't want to make a video that gets me in trouble. I don't think I would because I have every right in the world to talk about my situation. But um, all I'm going to say for now, yes, we are going to court because he still thinks it's my fault, which I don't know how you think it's my fault because you... Anyway, the engine was built wrong from the very beginning. My car is damaged. Uh, it's sat outside. There's a whole lot of things. Um, so the court process has started. I'm getting all my stuff together and we will go from there. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it is, it is what it is. That's where we're at. So, yeah, I, I don't know. This a whole bunch of stuff, and I never, I never wanted this to happen. And I never, I, well, I don't want to go to court. I don't want to sue somebody over this kind of stuff. But he doesn't want to work with it. He doesn't want to get my money back. So, I mean, we have to go this route, unfortunately. Uh, this was never the intention. I really just wanted my car, my engine to be built right the first time, get it back, good to go. And now here we are three months later, and I'm still dealing with nonsense. So, sucks. Never wanted to do this, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta stand up for yourself. I might take no crap from like it, 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 it makes it, it makes no sense. Like it really just makes no sense on how ridiculous all this has been. But in the end, uh, I'm very confident that all the evidence I have will all be on my side, and we will win this. How long it will take, I don't necessarily know, but I, I'm not gonna give up. You know, I'm gonna let him like try to. Uh, he tried to say he wasn't. I don't, I don't expect him to be scared of any of this kind of stuff, but like he tried to like almost say it like I wouldn't do it. He's like, I'm not giving you your money back and if you want to go, we're going to go to court. I'm like, all right, we're going. I don't think he was quite ready for me to say that. I'm like, we're going. Like, there's too much stuff. I have an entire motor that's potentially ruined. Like, at this point, I could put a new head on the engine and it could run, but for how long? Because, like, the top end was so messed up. I literally have no faith in that bottom end at this point. I can't. After all that has been wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong, and I couldn't prepare. There's too much stuff for me to now want to try and run that car because it may run for a little while and then a week down the road the bottom end blows up you know what i mean so it's just it's not worth it so at this point the entire engine has to be re-gone through because i don't trust any of it. It, it, it it sucks so hopefully very soon we can get that out of there maybe we go three two three six i don't know take the car to a proper shop this time I don't know. We'll see. Either way, don't forget. But then it was every single day. I'm done rambling. I will see you guys possibly tomorrow. Peace. Oh, what's that? Little sneak peek. Uh oh.